Good, good, good day to everyone or night, wherever you may be. Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Suzy Q. Hope you are having an awesome day, awesome night, whatever or wherever you are in this part of the world. Welcome. Thank you for joining me on my second, uh, third day, I should say, of experiencing God through prayer. This awesome book that I want to share with the old world. So let's get into it. So I am on chapter three. And now we are talking about beginning the journey. Beginning the journey of prayer. Whether it be if you are a babe in Christ, whether you're somebody that never prayed, or a person that prays occasionally, or a person that you might not even believe in prayer, but the beginning the journey. And it says, let us begin now to practice praying the word, using the Lord's Prayer, which is taken from Matthew 6, 9 through 13. That is an example that you can use by praying the Lord's Prayer. And that is the fundamental part. It's very easy. Begin praying the Lord's Prayer. When Jesus prays for God's kingdom to come, remember that he said, the kingdom of God is within us. Before we had invited Jesus to come into our hearts, we were lost sinners. We were, we were lost. We were undone. The, the only promise available to us was our wages for sin was death. That was it. The wages of thin, sin was death. But now because we have repented of our sins, Christ has cleansed us from our sins and invite him to take up his abode with us. He bought with him the kingdom of God with all its benefits and promises. So that is... That is your reward. That's a benefit. Now it says, make the steps to salvation understood by even the educated in your con the least educated in your congregation. The steps, what steps we're talking about? The prayer, beginning the journey. So this is mostly made, talking to pastors and so forth that teach that needs to teach their congregation how to pray and the first thing you should say in that prayer is the first thing is our father it's elaborating about God you know he's taking the initiative to invite you to become his child he's inviting you to say our father who art in heaven he desires to be your father. So pour out your heart to him. You know, it's like a child that you have a child and they come to you and say, Daddy, Mommy, they are desiring you. They want you. You ever see a little girl, they come to you and they're like, Mommy, Mommy. My daughter does that sometimes when she wants to sleep or when she wants a, body, a bottle. So that's the same thing. Right? Call on God. He's your father. And pray to him. And then sometimes when you're praying, it says wait in silence. Always allow to be quiet sometimes because God will talk back to you. He is our heavenly father and he wants to reveal himself to us. Oh my God, this book is so good. Now, wait for, uh, come to the father as a feeble child. You know, a child, he say, Mommy, I hurt. Come to God. Let him know your pain. Come as a feeble child, soiled and bruised. Your child comes, sometimes they're crying, they're wet, they want to be changed. So we are to come as a little child. Destitute for strength and stand or power to cleanse yourself. Allow the Father to see your confusion. When you come to God, 
He already knows what we need, but he wants us to cry. I'm sure as mothers, fathers, sometimes when your child is crying, what do you say? You know they want to be changed. You know they want to be fed. You know this. So our Heavenly Father, but he wants us to cry out to him. We, we, he wants us to, to come to him as we are. Soil, dirty, whatever. Then uh, allow the Father to see to see you. Then intermingle a word of love or grief for the past sins and sink once again into silence before him. Go back. After you done cried out, just silence yourself. And then you go back and you continue in the Lord's Prayer in the same manner. Beseech the King of Glory to reign in you. Say, Lord, I want you to reign in me. Lord, I want you to live in me. Abandon yourself to God to do a finished work in you. Acknowledge his rule over you. Acknowledge that he's your, he's your God. He's your king. And then if you feel like you need to remain again in silence, just go back and meditate. Oh, I'm telling you, it's awesome. It is awesome. And I'm telling you, I'm getting such a, such a fresh anointing. You will get that if you desire it. Then you continue again and you petition. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Ask God to accomplish what he has. Whatever his will is. Say, God, let your will be done in my life, Father. I'm nothing before you. Pour out your heart to him. Surrender your free will. Into his hands to be disposed of his pleasures. And let him, let him please, let him be pleased. God is pleased when we come to him and we're broken and we just lay it. He knows that's what he wants you to do. And when you find that it is God's will for you to be loving, if you desire to be a loving person, pray and ask God. God, take away the hatred. Take away these things that come in my mind and he will give it but you got to open your mouth and you got to pour it out to him don't burden yourself with freaking repetitious prayer don't do that when you meditate on the Lord's prayer only once and then pray it out to the father it will produce more fruit than meaningless repeated words when you come to the verse, give us this day our daily bread. Place yourself as a sheep before your shepherd. Look to him for the food. Say, God, you are my provider. You are my way maker. Oh, divine shepherd, feed. Feed me, Lord God. Feed your flock. You are indeed. God is indeed our daily bread. That's you have to have that daily bread. Tell the father all about your needs, your family, your problems. Talk to God. That's a problem. We are not talking to God no more. Talk to him. Tell him about your problems. Tell the father all about it. He knows. He knows it. But he wants you to cry out. People are not crying out to God no more. And he will give you that peace. As you pray, don't form an image of God in your mind. You may, however, remember Jesus Christ in his birth or crucifixion. Provided you always seek him in everything that you do. Seek him. Oh, my God. Don't seek him on occasion. Don't seek him when you feel like to. Come to him. He's your physician. Come without aggravation because he has the healing power. Oh, God is a God of refuge. He's a God of strength. You have no need to exert yourself in prayer. Simple. Yield to God. Yield to him. He's talking to you. You know he's talking to you. As you experiment with prayer, in this manner, you will enjoy a deeper walk. You will get deeper. You will get closer to him in prayer. I'm telling you, friends, you will. I'm telling you, I am going through this. 
this prayerful moment and seeking God as I have never seeked him before. That's all you got to do is simple. Just say, God, I need you. God, I want you. That is the journey. It begins. That's the journey. Just begin by seeking him. Begin simply praying the Our Father prayer if you don't know how to pray. That's all. And he's there to listen to you. Tell him all about your problems. He will hear your faintest cry. And he will answer. He will answer you. But you got to cry out to him. And I'm telling you, I'm not speaking. I say it again. I am not speaking something that I heard. I'm speaking something that I am practicing. Because God is a God that loves us. So I thank you for listening. And I thank you for sharing this out to someone. Listen and hear the voice of the Lord because he is talking to you. May you be blessed. May you be blessed beyond measures while you go through prayer. Tune in again tomorrow as I continue this growing, experiencing God through prayer. Have a blessed day or night. Bye-bye.